What is up, ladies and gentlemen? If you're wondering yourself, you're like, um, uh, Mr. Tarver, where are you? I can't see. You're not in front of a dry erase board. I'm right here, bro. Hey. I don't know. <laughs> I meant to smile. Hey. What do I always say? Oh, yeah, I go, what up? Okay. So we want to learn today, and I'm not going to let the fact that I'm not standing in front of a dry erase board stop me. So let's get our learn on, shall we, children? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to solve this equation right here, okay? Now, you think to yourself, like, oh, that looks pretty easy. I just go left to right, all the way across. Well, there's a little thing you got to do called order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I should have come up with, a, like, a new one to make that cooler. Let's try it right now. You ready? Pizza extremely makes... Dudes act silly. Pizza extremely makes dudes act silly. That's, let's just go. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We'll stick with that. Okay, so what these mean are, P start, stands for parentheses. A stands for exponents. M stands for multiply. D stands for divide. A stands for add, and S stands for subtract. Okay, so I've given you the information. If you could, please pause this, try to work the problem, give it a shot. Even if you're like, I have no idea what comes next. I couldn't work this problem if my hands were tied behind my back. Well, you couldn't because your hands are tied behind your back. So pause the video, and I'll resume in like five seconds. Well, that was a fun little break. I went and got me some water and took a little nap. Okay, so let's work this problem and see if you got it correct, shall we? Okay, so I'll use, um, I wonder if I can use a different color. Ooh, fancy, use green. Okay, so we're working this problem. We wanna look for parentheses first, okay? So we pretty much just work our way down this line right here, okay? So we'll start with parentheses. Do we see anything up there that's in parentheses? Spoiler alert, no. So we can mark that out. We're done with parentheses. All right, now let's see. What else? Um, next is exponents, okay? Do we see any exponents? Yes, you've got one here, one here, and one here, okay? So if there are more than one, um, you know, monomials that fall into a category, what you do is essentially work them from left to right, okay? Okay. So we'll start with the one on the far left, which is 9 squared, which means 9 times 9, which is 81. Okay, so we can mark this out. I like to mark stuff out. Okay, now we're knowing nothing with this because it's not an exponent and it's not its time yet. Okay, so we're going to bring all that down so we don't lose it. A lot of people forget to bring it down. Those write down numbers as they work it. Don't do that craziness. Okay, so now we're on 5 squared. Now, if this was negative 5 squared, it would be negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25. However, this is just negative 5 squared, which means the only thing being squared is the 5. So the negative's chilling, waiting on the 5 to get done getting squared. Okay, that is where a lot of people mess up whenever they're working these problems, okay? And if you type in your calculator, you're like, I typed in my calculator, negative 5 squared, and it was telling me it was negative 25. Yeah, it did, because it's squaring what it's supposed to. Okay, so anytime you're doing a negative... Um, and you're putting in your calculator, always do the parentheses correct, okay? No parentheses here, so we're still doing 5 squared, so the minus sign comes down. Be minus 25. And then we mark that out. We've gotten that done, too. And so same thing here. That's going to be 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. The negative comes down there because it hadn't gotten touched yet. So negative 4, and then bring down the times 5. I don't know why they did times 5 with an X. Grow up. That's all I have to say. Okay, so let's look at the next part. All right, so now we've done exponents. So now we're looking at multiplication. I picked the same color as I already had, so I'm going to change it purple. Multiplication. Now, multiplication and division, really, those are pretty much the same. They're equal, so they could be done the same way. We're going to do this in the way I have this because that's easier to remember and it works either way. Okay, so multiplication. No, that's not a multiply. No, 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 yes. So we're going to do negative 4 times 5. So we'll bring everything else down. Divide it by 3 minus 25. And the negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Okay, now we do divide. Okay, let me go over here. 
All right, change the color up. All right, so we know we've got a division right here in the front. I like to circle it because it makes it easier, I think, when you work it. And if you notice how everything I've got is in a line going down, just so much easier when you don't bounce around. I know I did stuff up here, but that was just to show you magic. Okay, so 81 divided by 3, B, 27, and then minus 25, minus 20. Next, we do our addition. Do we have any addition? Negative Ghost Rider. And the last one would be subtraction. So we would do 27 minus 25 minus 20. So 27 minus 25 is going to be 2. And then minus 20 would be negative 18. And you've got your answer. Now let's check to see if it works. And it does. Now, this whole problem you can type in your calculator, correct? Yes, I am correct. Um, just be very careful in how you put it in. What I recommend when you put it in the calculator is always put it in like 9 squared. Put that in by itself. Hit enter. Then hit divided by 3. Hit enter. Then do this. Enter. Then do this. Enter. And then do this. Anytime you write the whole thing out and just hit equals in your calculator, you've got yourself set up for so much more of a chance to, uh, to mess up. Okay? So that's my best advice. Thank you for joining me for the problem of the day. Bell ringer, math extraordinaire you are. I'm calling you that, not myself. That's arrogant. Um, if you could, please get a chance. Go to tarveracademy.com. Subscribe to this. That would be cute. And uh, check me out. I'm at Tyler Tarver on pretty much everything. So if you would, check me out. That'd be pretty dope. Changing colors here. I don't know how to change colors back. I've ruined everything. All right. Toodles. Bye.